Good evening and a warm welcome to Headingley for this World Club Championship game between the Leeds Rhinos and the Adelaide Rams. It's the first game between these two. Adelaide won 34 points to 8 in the game over in Australia just over a month ago. The Rhinos points on that game coming from tries from Leroy Rivets and Ryan Sheridan. Leeds fans expect the side to do well in this game and also in the next game it's the North Queensland Cowboys in a fortnight. Leeds are really a good bet on paper to win this group to, uh, for a playoff place against the fourth place team in Group A for the final quarter final place in this Visa World Club Championship. Coach Dean Bell, listening to him talk earlier, he's very confident and thought the game was lost at Adelaide when Terry Newton was unfortunately sent off late in the second half. Also in that game, Leroy Rivet, who came as a substitute for the injured Richie Blackmore, scored a try, but suffered all sorts of uh, problems. Just delay there whilst all the fireworks go off here at Headingley. Now he's customary just before the kickoff. The two sides then start with the visitors from the Adelaide Rams at full back Michael Maguire. The three quarters Wayne Simmons, Kurt Ridley will kick the goals, Kiri Solomon and Danny Grimley. Luke Williamson, a player to watch in the near future as a standoff half. Steve Stone at uh, scrum half. Andrew Hick, Karen Walters, one of the Walters stable. He's at hooker, Mark Corvo is the other prop forward. The second row, David Bolton and Brett Gallier. And at loose forward, Cameron Blair. The substitutes, some Matley name players for the Adelaide Rams. Dean Shilifito is one of the substitutes. Ellie Peo, Bruce Mamando and Andrew Pierce. The Leeds Rhinos, a couple of changes from last week's starting lineup at Warrington Wolves. They line up as follows. At fullback Graham Alroyd, who sealed the game last week with a drop goal. Three quarters Paul Sterling, a lot ex expected of him tonight on the right flank. Damien Gibson, Phil Hassan scored a try last week, and Marvin Golden. At standoff, Yestin Harris looking to hit top form. Been a bit quiet over the past few weeks, is Yestin by his own admission. He's looking to forward to putting himself right in the frame for the test series at the end of the season against the Australians. At scrum half, Ryan Sheridan. Martin Masella, Wayne Collins and Jamie Matthew, an all-Australian front row for the Leeds Rhinos. In the second row, Adrian Morley and Anthony Farrell. And captain Gary Mercer is uh, loose forward. Substitutes, young set of substitutes for the Leeds Rhinos. Andy Hay, Jamie Field, Terry Newton and uh, Leroy Rivers, to say, who struggled in Australia. The Leeds record, really, in June, it was a bad month. They lost all three games against Bradford Bulls here in the Super League, which effectively gave Bradford Bulls a title. And also the two Australian games away from home. And then, of course, in July, they won three from three. Referee this afternoon, or this evening, is Russell Smith of Castleford, and his two touch judges, Mr Blood and Mr Molyneux of Wigan. That's the preliminaries out of the way. It's going to be Graham Holroyd who actually kicks off in this game. Holroyd kicks off to the night sun. Leads really in the action early on there. That was Gary Mercer who picked the ball up. Plays it backwards to Wayne Collins. It's the other front row, Martin Masella. Wayne Collins an eager worker at dummy half. The referee's not like something already. Decided to order scrum down. Peeling away from the scum was loose forward Cameron Blair. And removing his shirt as well, the Leeds players there. It's a tactic that's crept into the European game over the past couple of months. Tremendous tackle going in there from Leeds. He impressed me last week at Wilderspool with some of the defensive play. The big problem was last week as the Warrington Wolves players managed to get into the face of the Leeds players. They didn't particularly like it. Leeds in the very early openings of this game, in the first 1 minute and 15 seconds, really look into it tonight. They look like they've got the appetite to do well. The Adelaide Rams next to the bottom in Super League, although they have sprung one surprise this season in the inaugural season. They beat the Cronulla Sharks at Shark Park. So they're not a bad side at all. A double tackle going in there by from Brett Gallier and also Luke Williamson. That's Sterling who's trying to run it away from his own red zone. Collins. That's Mercer, captain. 
it's well wrapped up no chance of offloading the ball against these Australian sides you've got to outthink them and outrun them that was Masala back to Farrell the short pass is going in there from Leeds Rhinos that's Adrian Morley very big favourite down here with the Leeds Rhinos fans back in the starting lineup tonight Got up from that one a bit gingerly though. Holroyd kicks downfield. That's Wayne Simons coming away from the ball. Effectively tackled there by Farrell. Good tackle on Kurt Ridley. He's a goal kicking centre. Again wrapped up. Sun drenched night here at Headingley. was Kiri. Crowd shouting for a forward pass. In fact, referee Russell Smith has awarded it to the applause of Wayne Collins. So he's going to come away from it. It's all about the intensity of this game. One of the things the Australians have picked up on is that the European sides lose the momentum in the last 20 minutes of the game. They're well into it until half time, and then they seem to lose all their adrenaline in the second half. That's Damien Gibson to Sheridan to Mercer, the captain. Collins eager to get on with things at dummy half. Matthew to Masella. Offloads to Collins. It's a good ball indeed. Farrell losing the ball on the one-on-one. -on -one. Referee not happy with the challenge. Penalty to the Adelaide Rams. Walters, you can see in screen there, number 27, the hooker and captain, one of the famous Walters family, Australian international, and honours galore is won in the Australian game. So it's the first season for the Adelaide Rams, next to bottom in the league. Good side though, put together by Ron Reddy. 120 points he scored so far, conceded 30 in the three games. Good close passing game there by the Adelaide Rams. The crowd not particularly happy and they're wanting the least players to get in the tackles as they did on that occasion. Stringing it along the three quarters, but the offload there, you can see that. That's Wrigley to Skiri. Skiri just yard short of the line there. Holroyd and Marcella wrapping him up. Walters. That's it, basketball style out there. Good interception there by Hassan. He read that so well. Cut in from left centre. This is Yestin Harris. First touch of the ball, I think, for Yestin. Probably even people who went down to, down under, or the press reports on Harris, who was effectively marked out of the game down under. Maybe he can uh, say to impress tonight. To put some pressure on the selectors at the end of the season. Referee Smith didn't like the challenge on Sterling. It's a penalty to the Leeds Rhinos. Complaint going in there for Walters, as is his right. As captain, he's allowed to query with the decision of the referee. Ref Russell Smith having nothing of it. Get on with the game. Collins to Matthew. Collins again. Masala. Collins wants them to retire a bit faster than they are doing. He was telling him as well. This is Farrell. Good player. Signed at the start of the season from the Eagles. Collins again. This is Harris, what can he do? Holroyd, once away at the moment from Headingley. Last season's scrum half and goal kicker, now playing at full back. Harris to Sheridan, to Hassan. Hassan completely wrapped up there, including one of them, Terry Walters. Harris, little rubber kick through, easily picked up there by Kiri. Those are the short passes, the danger ones. Danny Grimley on the end of that one. The Leeds Rhinos reading well. Mm -hmm. 
Big hit there by the Leeds Rhinos. Penalty awarded for a high tackle. Luke Williamson, he's supposed to be one of the players of the future to watch. We've seen one of the two of those so far in the World Club Championship. Some Matt Rogers of Cronulla Sharks. Plus some Ryan Girdle of the Penrith Panthers. Luke Williamson's another one. That's Mark Cover, the prop forward, playing the ball back. Three players in the tackler, that's good to see. We're only seven minutes gone in this game. The intensity of the Leeds tackling. Wasn't queryable last week at Warrington, I say. They just weren't given any time to actually play their attacking moves, which is what it's all about. Yes, they now he's doing a tremendous tackle there. That's a loose forward, Cameron Blair. He's brought to ground by Collins and Holroyd. Onto the last tackle, this is Walters, going to go for the kick. That's Wrigley. It's a dangerous kick, is that? Well taken though by Holroyd, well led, and he was under a lot of pressure. Away comes Damien Gibson. That's the thing that irritates both the players and the spectators. They don't retire on the call of hell by the referee. We were promised during the week by the referee supremo, Greg McCallum, about the play of the balls and also the retiring on the tackle. Mr Smith being a bit lenient so far. It's a tremendous tackle by Cameron Blair. On Masella. Harris. That was a problem we had at Warrington last week. Every move that Yeston tried to make was effectively put out of the game. Morley, clever little flick. Holroyd right footed that time, thought he was a left footed kicker. Made valuable yards, took the pressure off. And there was Morley and also Sterling going in. And it was Mercer. This is a full back, Michael Maguire. Collins, good tackle going in there. Leeds holding their own at the moment, no real scoring opportunities, apart from that bomb that was put up by Wrigley, effectively well taken by Graham Holroyd. Walters, trying to start a tremendous little break that. Threw it ineffective to no man's land. Wanted to offload quickly and did so. Sterling read it well. And away come the Rhinos, Mercer leads by example as a captain. Wants to get on with it, he wants his side to do well. Throwing the ball about so confidently, the Rhinos. Good cover tackle though by the Adelaide Rams. Marvin Golden. Quite a little winger. It's in the early stages. Masella. Crowd were hoping for a break there. Do missing Mark McDermott at the moment out sadly with a broken leg and broken ankle. He's going to be missing for the rest of this season at least. How much he's been missed over the past few weeks. Harris covering well. Showing in the options. Tremendous run there though by Wayne Simmons, the right winger. One thing about the three quarters of the Australian side is they will play anywhere. They'll look and hunt for the ball. Good tackle on Brett Gallier. Walters, as ever, ready to start yet another move off. String the ball. Leeds cutting the options out for the offloads early on in this game, doing very well indeed. It's a tremendous ball there to Steve Stone, the scrum half. Looks suspiciously forward. Be able to judge for yourselves on a rerun. Walters, give a kick, fell, Sterling got to get out of the red zone, got out of his own danger area very well, didn't make many yards in front of it, <coughs> referee didn't like the challenge, and again Walters comes in, and he's penalised several yards, quite rightly by the referee, and off goes Yeston Harris, and says thank you very much, and I'm going on my own, what a tre <laughs> tremendous run by Harris, and quite rightly awarded against Walters, that's the second time in the game. I said he was being a bit lenient early on, referee Smith. Didn't like the 
Obviously, the insinuations Walters was making decided to penalise him, and Harris took best advantage of it. Morley. Again, he felt his back when he got up then. It's Mercer. Tackled by three Adelaide Rams players. Collins starts off another move. Sheridan. Sterling. In fact, it's Farrell. Played so well, very popular with the crowd in his short time. He's been ahead of Lee's Farrell. This is Harris. Oh. Should have really taken that pass. That was a very, very good position for the Leeds Rhinos to probably score the first points of the game. Good tackle by Morley. No points on the board. Nearly 13 minutes gone in the game. Matthew involved in that challenge. It's number 10, Cameron Blair, the loose forward. Walters offloads superbly there. His anticipation of the two oncoming tacklers. The man he passed who didn't get too many eyes out of it. Walters again. Hassan. That was Williamson. Wrigley again. Not kicked many goals this season. Only scored three tries as Wrigley. 20 odd goals he's kicked for the Adelaide Rams. A one field goal as they call him in Australia as well. That's Sterling. He's having to work for his money tonight. Running out of his own dead ball zone a few minutes ago. And running the danger away again. It was suspicious about the knees going in there on Marvin Golden. Thankfully, he got up okay. This is Mercer looking for support. An offside as well by referee Smith. Along come the water carriers, three of them. Harris kicks the touch, makes valuable yards. This is Sheridan. Sterling involved in in-play stuff as well as Sterling as well as going down his way scored a lot of tries this season for the Rhinos Masala Collins again looking right and left who's going to get it and on the short side to Harris looking to make that opening that jink of the hips well read there by the Adelaide Rams players Harris is looking good it's Wayne Collins trying to power his way through there are some of his fellow countrymen who wants to get up and he wants to play it. Harris, kick across field. Into the night sun, unfortunately, in touch. And the chance goes begging. Scrum down, Adelaide put in. A Walters again with the referee. I've just a funny feeling that before too long, Mr Walters might be having to lie down for ten minutes, courtesy of a yellow card from Mr Smith. Seems to be queering every decision he's making tonight. Substitution at the moment being made for the Adelaide Rams. Bruce Mamando is coming on. I think it's David Boughton who's gone off. This is the Rams coming away with the ball. Well tackled there by Hassan. And ready to help us was Gary Mercer. Good tackling again. Yes, I was getting involved in a lot of tackles early on as well. Leeds seem to have adopted the tactic tonight of trying something Bradford Bulls were trying a few weeks ago. They're pulling the shirts upon the opposing players to slow them down at the play of the ball. May prove to be effective. It's the third time it's been done in the first 15 minutes. Hassan and Harris on the tackle. This is Walters. Kick. I don't think it will run dead that. That's Graham Holroyd. Comes away with it, runs diagonally in front of his own post and tackled pretty high then. I think the referee's got to give something on that. Yes, high tackle, says referee Smith. That's a penalty to the Leeds Rhinos. Leeds playing in their away strip tonight. As has happened, obviously, to cut down on baggage as teams are coming from overseas. They're taking their first trips with them when they go overseas. 
Then if the referee doesn't like it, out come the change kits. Now we've got the bugle charge from one of the supporters on the terraces. It's becoming very popular in Super League in the UK. Mercer. Wayne Collins. Busy little work and a shrewd sign at the start of the season. Didn't particularly like that challenge. To Mercer to Sheridan. Sheridan looking. That's a well planned move and very, very unfortunate there. But well read indeed by Mark Corvo. It was a bit high on um, Damien Gibson. Last tackle. Mercer to Sheridan. Harris. Holroyd. Chip through. Very clever chip through that was. Now the danger's really on. Very bravely indeed dived on there by one of the Adelaide Rams players. You might just have some regret actually diving on that. I think he got a kick at the side of the head as well. It was a full back, Michael Maguire. Gingerly plays the ball. May receive some attention as well. Hassan. Masella doing the tackling. Walters. 18 minutes gone. No points on the board at all. Two very defence minded teams. It's going to take something special to score points. Crowd shouted forward. Referee Russell Smith having none of it. Well wrapped up there in the tackle as you can see. Three players around making sure that it was number 30 then. Mark Corvo didn't offload to Walters and cause any further danger. I'd like to see the tackle count statistics on this so far. Absolutely tremendous. This is Sterling on the job of running it out again. And his head shaved specially for tonight's game as well. Simons holding Gibson down. This is Sterling again. The dummy half. Collins. Holroyd. That's Harris. That's the gap he was looking for, and he offloads as well. Hassan, what a dangerous player he can be. Not too far out really for Phil's liking. 20 metres out, back him against anybody. This is Mercer. All wrapped up there by two Dudley Rams players. Masala, chip through. Gone dead, says the referee. And he starts with the Adelaide Rams. <laughs> Halfway through the first half, there's still no points on the board. Well, they don't come any better than that as a knock on. But about three attempts. And Kevin Walters was asking Steve Stone there, what on earth were you doing? It wasn't particularly a wonderful pass, but we usually see them scooped up like that in modern day Super League. So Leeds get the chance to mount yet another attack. Notice over the past few weeks the referees querying the scrummaging. It's only a restart in rugby league. There are teams actually trying to play different bits of angles and games as well. Marvin Golden held down and wants to get up and wants to play. This is Harris. Hassan. Yep, referee didn't like that one. Didn't like that one at all in his face. Penalty. And Harris has decided he's going to go for goal. 5-on-5 five five was his record last week at Wilderspool on his return back to his old stomping ground for Yestin Harris. He's what, 23 metres out to the left of the goalpost, right in front of the big screen as you can see. He's got the chance of putting the Leeds Rhinos into the lead. Sorting the tie-ups out first. A drink as well. And now the sand bucket, the important thing. Should be well drained these Super League grounds at the end of the season with the amount of sand that the kick has put, out, put down these days. 
I always remember listening to Maurice Bamford, who had an idea a few years ago about the disappearing kicking cup. He wanted it to disintegrate in sand onto the pitch, and he reckoned it could have been marketed a few years ago. Never did anything about it, though. 22 minutes gone in the first half, I say, Harris, the first opportunity for points to go on the board. And if he kicks this, this will be a major psychological boost for the Rhinos. The ball's fallen over after that build-up as well. Leaves more than all in their own at the moment. This has a look at it, sizes it up, gum shield in his hand. You can hear by the cheer, don't need me to tell you, that's the first two points of the evening. And it's 2 0 to the Leeds Rhinos. 22 minutes gone in the game, and the Yestin Harris penalty separates the sides. Just looking through my stat sheet, by the way, must be remembered that Leeds actually took the lead in Adelaide. And they lost by 34 points to eight in that one, so the game really starts. Leeds have got to follow this up when this ball from Graham Holroyd hits one of the Adelaide players, they've got to be in the face. Not going to let him make a lot of yards, it's going to hit him, that's where it comes. Got a lot of yards there. That was Bruce Mamando, one of the substitutes. Got a lot of yards. Wayne Collins in the action and very near the higher the, the height of the tackle count as well. He's one of the top tacklers in Super League at the moment. Crowd thought it was forward. This is Walters. That looked pretty high as well. It was on by Farrell. Kick downfield. More work for Sterling to run it out of his red zone. Notices a lot actually. Hanari and Warrington seems to be making a lot of yards running diagonally. Running across his own dead ball zone. He's still in on that occasion. To still his credit, though, it's only the first time he's done. He's had two, but he's made a lot of yards. This is Mercer. Plays the ball to Collins. Wants to get on with it. Masala. Good yards there. And a brave run as well, and a brave hit from the Adelaide Rams player. Harris. Not afraid to run into the faces of the Adelaide players as yesterday. He usually likes to try and find a gap though. That's Ryan Sheridan in the last tackle. Collins, the kick from Harris. It's a high one. Who's brave enough to go under that one? It's number 29, Danny Grimley, the left winger. And he comes away with it as well before he's unceremoniously done by Jamie Matthew. Yes, referee didn't like it. Didn't play the ball, and up stuts Mr. Walters yet again. To ask why he's not, <laughs> what he's given on that particular occasion. He's obviously read the same coaching book as Matthew Ridge of the Auckland Warriors. I remember seeing him the other week. Every decision the referee made, Ridge was there. And Harris, well, he fancies his chances. Kicked a penalty a couple of minutes ago. Bit further out for him. Well, we thought really knowing Yestin though and Yestin's ability at kicking possibly might have given this one to Holroyd to kick. Holroyd is more of a distance kicker. I'm saying that the last six kicks Harris has made five at Warrington last week and one tonight. He's 100% success strike rate. So he takes the gum shield out yesterday and puts it in the right hand. A big kick will this. About 33, 34 metres out. It's high enough. And it's gone wide. The crowd weren't sucking it in at that terrace end there in front of the big screen. So Harris, one from two. It's an Adelaide Rams restart. Dropout. Big dropout as well by Wrigley. 
Holroyd to chase it all the way back into his dead ball zone. It was a tremendous drop out eventually. And Adelaide Rams players showing you how to back a good kick up. And all the way there, this is Mercer. I said earlier, leads by example, Mercer. Doesn't ever shirk any responsibility, he's always there. Masella. Turn on his back, as the Australians like to do, with all the tackling. Slows it to play the ball down. Harris. This is Hassan, this is where he's dangerous. He was looking to offload there. Marvin Golden wasn't actually up in support as he should have been. Golden starts another move to Sheridan, to Matthew. Collins is ever waiting, looks right. That's where it's coming. Holroyd, big kick, high. He's brave enough to chase that one. It's gone loose. It's going about like a pinball at the moment. What's he given? Scrum down, leaves put in. There's the first knock on. Came from one of the Adelaide players. But he tried to gather Holroy's big kick. Walters again querying the decision, having to go at one of his players, saying, right, be ready on this for the set of six. With a lot of intensity. That's Harris trying to edge that gap through. We're looking to offload though, yes, in there. I mean, he did have a sand and support. Plays it backwards for Hassan. That's Mercer. Two, two tackles. This is Collins. Matthew. Nobody looking to offload for Leeds. They're using these tackles up. This is Collins. Driving forward. Turned on his back. Somebody's got to be offloading something or doing something pretty clever here. They're moving backwards. This is Harris. Wrapped. Took completely. This is Hassan. Good defence play this by the Adelaide Rams. Holroyd looking for a drop goal. I wouldn't say he telegraphed that, but I knew that in the commentary box that Holroyd was going to go for goal because the instruction had come. The only thing was is the Adelaide Rams players speak English as well. He had no chance of kicking that drop goal there at all. That's the Rams. Number 10, Cameron Blair. Masala Matthew, his prop forward partner, wrapping him up. Good hit there. Tremendous hit there by Morley. So very popular with the Leeds fans. Looks like he's back to full fitness. Mamando. Good feed off there. That was to S Solomon Kiri. Walters. That's where he's dangerous. That's the big kick. Who's going to be brave enough to go under that one? Somebody about three rows back. Matt Dermott might have been a tremendous player here this evening. The Leeds Rhinos, if it had been playing. That was awful. Interchange there by Harris and Holroyd. We finished up giving a set of six to the Adelaide Rams with 30 minutes gone. And not too far out either, 30 metres out. Can Leeds keep this intensity of tackling up? That's Matthew and Harris. Turtle tackling as they call it. Number 13, David Bolton. This is the gap, that was a tremendous tear there. Kevin Walters throws it out wide. Six more tackles, referee Smith signals. You can see him in the top of the screen. This is Wrigley. Walters again, in the thick of the action. Leeds starting to miss one-on-one -on -one tackles and that is dangerous against Australian teams. Romando, short ball there, well wrapped, ta tackled and well wrapped up there by Gibson. This is where they're missing and you see another one-on-one -on -one tackle made, but Farrell recovering well. Covering the situation well and Morley helping out as well. Walters to restart yet another move. This is good defensive play by the Rhinos, kick it dead please. Yes he has done. Ref touch to his Molyneux. Signals it'll restart with a tap on the 20 metre zone.
32 minutes gone and Yestin Harris's penalty on 22 minutes the only points on the board it's been the tightest game in this Visa World Club Championship has been to date Collins tackled by his opposite number unceremoniously Walters and dumped as well that's Mercer Lee's not introduced any substitutes at all yet funny feeling Andy Hay might come on in the near future that's Hassan Hassan's getting a lot of lot of ball so it's Morley on that occasion I was just saying about Hassan he's getting a lot of ball but he's getting it too deep pretty weak challenge from Yestin Harris there and away comes number three Michael Maguire the full back referee didn't like that He's not played the ball properly. <laughs> Just looking for Walters on that occasion to see where he is with the referee. He's actually, oh yes, he's on his way. Here he's having a way with the referee now. Probably hasn't been issued with a set of international rules of the game like I was issued during the week find out that you actually play the ball by putting it down and putting your foot on it you must be stood up to do it Harris it's going to Collins restart it would have thought Harris taking the tap that's an interesting one <laughs> never seen one done like that before Cle very clever tactics there Morley going for the uh, pretty dangerous that actually when Morley was involved in Collins Harris and that's how much they think of Yestin Harris. Three players attacking him and grounding him. Sheridan, Talroy, the fullback. Andy Hayes on. I thought he might be introduced as a substitute. Find out who's replaced very shortly. That's his first involvement in. Unfortunately, he's knocked on. Scrum down. Farrell is the man who's been substituted. And Andy Hayes taking his place. So Andy Hayes impressed me when he played at Warrington last week. They actually placed Farrell in that game. Holroyd and Harris tackling. Penalty count at the moment, 8-2 in the Rhinos' favour. Number 13, David Bolton, second row forward, back on the field now. Earlier substituted. I mean, he's probably playing the ball there. Uh, Bouton actually has been awarded. In fact, it was a knock on. So the referee scum down. Leeds Rhinos putting very scrappy at the moment from the Rams. And the Rhinos need to take advantage of this. I don't particularly think Walters is actually complaining. I think he was wanting clarification of what has actually been awarded and what's been going on. He's opened his mouth once and lost 10 metres. I don't think he's going to do it again. Harris with that grubber kick through. Now we're on for speed. This is his, uh, Damian Gibson. Touchdown. Brilliant. Gibson. Harris to chip through. It's the first opening Yestin Harris has been given. And he's actually chipped the ball through. Gibson won the race. And it puts the Leeds Rhinos six points to nil into the lead. Damien Gibson, all smiles. I say a lot of credit there must go to Yestin Harris for the clever chip through. He's not been given any room at all to work in tonight, Yestin. And the one chance he was, what a good kick through it was. And what the next move is. Harris. He set the try up and he converted the try as well. Well done, Yestin. Eight points to nil, the Rhinos lead. We're just over four minutes to half time. And the Rhinos have the restart as well. As per the rules, this is Holroyd. Kicks it high. I see the adrenaline's pumping now with the Rhinos players. Yes, I thought Matthew went a bit high then. Morley. It was on number 23, Bruce Mamando, Matthew, penalised for the high tackle. 
Leeds have got to keep the shape in defence now. They've not got to concede any points at half-time. They've done a tremendous job and they've given the Australians something to think about at half-time. Let them play the sets of six. Let them see if they can make the mistake. The pressure is on the Rams now. And that is good tackling, making sure he didn't offload. Walters. That's to Stone. Inside ball to Kurt Wrigley. Giving no room to work at all. Walters again. He's looking to get things moving. Brett Gallier. Three Lives Rhinos players on the tackle there. They've got to keep the shape now. It's on the fifth tackle. And he's dropped the ball. Well, that's tremendous play, they've taken five tackles, in fact Leeds will get to play the ball, it's on the fifth tackle, he's given the play the ball the turn round. Mercer, tackled, no real yards made there, Sterling, nobody wants the ball, they've got to keep the shape, and they've got to keep the concentration now, in fact it's a knock on by Matthew. So we're back to square one, we've got a Rhinos, sorry, we've got a Leeds, Adelaide Rams put in at the scrum, and Matthew wants some treatment from the physio. Leeds had worked superbly there, they'd absorbed five tattles, they made the Adelaide Rams make the mistake, and then within two tattles, Matthew knocked on, he's put it all back to square one, and he's put it back worse than square one, because Adelaide Rams, in the 20 metre zone, as you can see, they've got six tattles to run, and it won't be long before the half-time Hooter goes as well. Great for European Super League if Leeds can go in at half-time, keep the momentum going because this crowd they have here at Headingley will really drive them on in the second half if they can keep the shape, keep the concentration. This is danger time. A wounded Australian is dangerous. That's Dean Schlifty. A knock on again. Good tackle there going in by Andy Hay as well. A bit like American footballers of the Leeds Rhinos plays tonight. Every time somebody makes a big hit, it slaps hands and give me five all the way around the team. On that occasion it was Andy Hay who got the slap of hands. Into injury time in this first half. The Rhinos. Eight points still in the lead. Eight precious points they may well prove to be. So unjust this competition, by the way, and that if Leeds do win Group B, they don't automatically qualify for the quarter-final place. They have to play the fourth-place group team in Group A, who currently, after Warrington's defeat this morning, St Helens. And it would be at St Helens the game as well. Matthew coming away with the ball. Justin Harris acting half-back. Make many yards. Of Collins usual lieutenant at that particular situation, Holroyd, looking at a long kick downfield, left footed, takes the pressure off, Michael Maguire is going to come away with the ball, he's going to be tackled there, good tackle indeed by the captain, so leading by example Gary Mercer. And we can't see it, you can't see it. And the countdown was on the big screen. Half time in this game and a rousing reception they've got at half time for the Leeds Rhinos. Half time score Leeds Rhinos 8. Try scorer there, Damien Gibson leaving the field at half time. The Adelaide Rams nil. 40 minutes to go. Could this be a great result for the Rhinos? Starting time for the second half. The Adelaide Rams plays out onto the field first. Led by the captain, Kevin Walters. A lot rejuvenated, somewhat. As though they're really ready for the challenge, and they are ready for a challenge as well in the second half. Because the Leeds Rhinos have got a big crowd behind them here at Headingley. And they're on home soil. And they're going to get right behind the team for the final 40 minutes. It was thought it was going to be a close match. This all the experts in one of the rugby papers it was published on the day of the match uh, Ronnie leading him out he's obviously not a second half substitute all the pundits putting it down because it was going to be a close game this rugby league headquarters and insider reckoned that the Rams would win by 12 I don't think that's going to happen the Leeds have got to keep the intensity of the tackling up they've been soaking tackles up in this first half 
And lots been to do with that man as well, Wayne Collins. Ronnie the Rhino makes his way to this side of the field, obviously going to shake a few hands of the Speckies. Retire the Hooter. And we've got this slow version of Land of Hope and Glory on. Luke Williamson kicks the second half off. 40 minutes to go and you can see the problems they've got with the setting sun in the second half. This is Sterling, early into the action. Getting out of his dead butt, his red zone. Collins, about face to Mercer, his captain. Mercer is going to get out of the red zone. Collins. Morley. He impressed me a lot in his, the first half, not just with his running. Yeah, he didn't play that one properly. Penalty. It's good for one, it's good for the other. Morley penalised there, didn't play it properly. Straight on it. Yeah, we're going to have a kick at goal here. To be Wrigley. In fact, it's not. It's going to be Luke Williamson. Wrigley's done most of the kick in this season for the Adelaide Rams. He's in the top ten point scorers overseas. We've now got a longer wait whilst they get a bucket of sand together for him. In fact, so long that Russell Smith decides he's going to stop the clock as well. If he's successful with this kick, Williamson, it will put the Adelaide Rams right back into the game at eight points to two, knowing they only have to score a try and a goal to square it all up. And I'm saying that it is a long kick. Just over 30 metres out. Not two kickers. At one time in rugby league, it was all toe and kicking. It's not two kickers these days. The same, a bit like snooker players. They offer it to the goalpost. They line it up, and they all have different styles. It's a fair run at it. Square on, as Williamson. He's earmarked as one of the players of the future. Remember his name. And he struck that well. Is it high enough? And it's good enough. And he puts them right back into the game. Only two minutes of the second half gone. The Adelaide Rams are back in this game at eight points to two. That all came from a not playing the ball correctly by Adrian Morley. You can hear the Leeds fans getting right behind the team. Williamson to restart. Tremendous kick. Got it at the second attempt at Sterling. He probably got one of the strongest boots I've seen this season as Williamson when he kicked that ball then. Collins wants the players to retire on the tackle. It's captain, Gary Mercer. Matthew. Collins looks left, that's where the ball's going. It's going to be a big kick. Holroyd claiming his lines. It's a very good kick to chase him back onto the defence. Didn't go into play. Just picked up in time. Gibson was there, Sterling was there, and <laughs> you don't see that in modern day rugby league normally. Pushing him back, picking up and taking him for a walk as well. Good tackling again, this by the Leeds Rhinos. Two tackles gone. Collins and Andy Hay with a tackle. Kerrod Walters. Yep, forward pass there. Didn't like the challenge there on Matthew. Yep, well, we're going to have a word with you, I think. For the high tackle. It's the second time in the game that Matthew's been spoken, awarded a high tackle against. And Russell Smith actually explaining to him we're having no more of that. Penalty the high tackle, this is Wrigley he kicks for touch so Matthews on a warning Walters that's Delia good tackle on him, Andy Hay again in though in the thick of the action 
with Phil Hassan. Collins again on the tattle count. Glad to see his tattle count at the end of this game. Forward pass. <laughs> yeah, Walters doesn't like it. So Russell Smith has actually refereed a game tonight and he's also explained the rules of the game to the captain, Kevin Walters, throughout. Every decision he's made has been queried. Harris. Tight little pass there to Holroyd in the line. He's well tackled there by Wrigley. And also number 25, Kiri. Martin Misella back to Collins. Sheridan. Matthew. Adrian Morley was looking for support there. He was looking to offload quite rightly, Morley. The support was not with him. This is Gary Mercer. Again, there's no support with him. He runs into a brick wall completely wrapped up. Collins. Harris. What can he do? Hassan. This is where he's dangerous. Golden again was a bit slow there. And actually being up with his teammate for support play. Another jinking kick through there by Harris. On that occasion, it was well gathered by the fullback, Maguire. Oh, and not for the first occasion, an Adelaide Rams player <laughs> gets his hair rubbed by Gibson, which I think is a complete insult. There is Solomon Kiri put in for the Leeds Rhinos and a set of six. They've got to either complete the six or they've got to break through. This is a crucial time, six minutes gone in the second half, for the Rhinos to build on the first half lead. Been slightly eroded by that penalty by Williamson. That's an interesting tactic on the scene usually in Rugby Union. Harris. Well read indeed there by Harris. Golden. Dummy half. Tries to move his way forward. Loses his shorts as well. That's definitely one for the outtakes. Hassan. Well wrapped up indeed. Walters. And there's also Andrew Hick on the tackle. This is Mercer. He runs till he drops. Three men it took to tackle him. Look how they wrapped him up. Collins. Now we're going to get a little grubber kick. Oh, he's moving the short passes in. This is Andy Hay driving forward. Golden in support again on the fifth tackle. Harris with a grubber kick. It's too deep. On some grounds, with a bigger dead ball zone, might have been dangerous on Leeds. It's very tight behind the goalposts. Taking the quick tap, they want to get on with it. Steve Stone. Walters at the play of the ball. That's Williamson. In fact, it's not as Andrew Pierce, one of the substitutes. Walters, well tackled there by Adrian Moore. He's having a tremendous game tonight. It was a brilliant tackle then on Mark Corvo. And that was one of the big hits of the night. And look who was in on it again. Andrew Adrian Morley. Walters. Andy Hay there bravely went in, he was at the wrong angle for it. Walters looking to edge that gap through. The Adelaide Rams have just stepped it up a gear. Kicked through there by Andrew Pierce. And that's dangerous. It's going to run dead. So Pierce putting that kick in. Scrum down. It's going to be a Leeds put in. Bottle carriers on, they're ready. The sun's really starting to set quickly. Might even need floodlights before the end of the game, you never know it. Eight minutes gone, the second half. Phil Hassan, unceremoniously dumped there by Williamson. Also by Solomon Kiri. So the intensity now. Of the Adelaide Rams, Adrian Morley pulled his first mistake of the night there. What a bad place to lose the ball. Set of six, that's, that's Walters. It's Corvo on the first tackle. Walters again. Stone. Well tackled there, well recovered by Morley and Collins. Walters directing movements there, he's going right. Wrigley. Number 12, Brett Gallier. Gallier on the play of the ball. 
going on the blind side cuts back inside that's number 12 Brett Gallier again perilously close to the line there this is where Leeds have got to really show professionalism and keep them out not played it properly penalty Walters really really does sail it close to the wind every time that's been done he's querying the referee the Leeds defence there really were well marshalled on the line and they were, I think they were ready for the challenge if it had come but in a position like that you've got to play the ball properly they didn't do and Russell Smith has not been afraid tonight that was very very high by number 21 Dean Schlifito and being told about it by the referee just calm it down says Wayne Collins Harris kicks for touch calm and influence is Collins on this side I say a very shrewd signing during the winter and there he is to play the ball on the quick one Matthew he was happy there with the challenge by Brett Galley though it did look a bit high probably across the shoulders that was a big hit on Masala. Mercer. He not edge from anything. He's got a bit of a reputation overseas, Adelaide Ob being a physical side, living up to the name in the second half. Harris. Man, any side coached by Ron Reddy won't be in effect Sunday school teams. They'll know how to put it about a bit. Harris to Sheridan. Holroyd chipped through, left footed. Sterling a bit slow off the mark there. He ran close to the line, but it was a very, very good kick from Holroyd. Sterling, I've seen him score tries from that position. He was one who scored against St. Helens early in the season from that particular occasion. He hounded his man into touch, and it's a drop out between the sticks. I think if I was the Adelaide Rams side, I think I'd be giving the ball to Williamson here and saying, get in it and kick down that field. They have done. Huge kick. Almost at halfway line, Andy Hay, he's a fan's favourite. Signed after the start of the season, we'll say he's quickly become a favourite. Gary Mercer. Looking to offload there, Gary. His Leeds teammates a bit slow on him, it may have been tactical for them not to come up. Sheridan decides to switch it play. Sheridan to Harris. It's Morley, he wants to get up and play it. That's Collins. He's doing well there, he riddled that tremendously through, that did Collins. And so unfortunately he was pulled back, I think, by his ankle straps. <laughs> this is Harris, good stringing pass by Harris, that's a trademark of his life. This is a sound where he's dangerous. I was saying in the first half, and it's another try for the Rhinos. Great try, I said in the first half, that is where Hassan is at his most dangerous. So many times he scored at Warrington. He scored at least one here against Warrington at the end of May. And that was a tremendous try. Harris, long stringing pass along the three quarters. And Hassan saw his gap, moved through. And it's 12 points to two to the Rhinos. It's not really a most difficult kick either for Harris. Hopefully he can add the two as well. It's two improved tries in front, if he can put this one between the sticks. I don't think he'll have kicked a more important goal this season apart from his drop goal against St Helens. Gum shield, you can see there the yellow one in his right hand. He told me it's not superstition, so he can breathe as he's kicking the ball. Concentration intense. The crowd cheer and it's, well you see the flags go up, two points, 14 points to two. The Leeds Rhinos deep into Adelaide Rams territory are they up for this yes straight in the face well done good tattling you've got to be confident now for the Rhinos not too confident though They're happy with another try and a goal good tattling and the Leeds Rhinos seem to be building every the two tries they've scored they've not rested on the laurels they've come and got straight back in the faces of the players not making him let him make any yards at all. Three man tackle there, hey Morley. It was actually Yestin Harris. Got a bit of a, a knock in the tackle there. In fact, he's feeling it, he's gonna receive some treatment, top of the screen. Hopefully he'll be okay, we'll be back in it in a minute. Gibson. 
Collins is out of the line, he's injured. We've also got Harris receiving attention as well. Two Leeds players, important playmakers of Leeds receiving treatment at the moment. That's Farrell back on the field. This is a danger man, Walters wrapped up completely. You're not passing that one out. Referee blows his whistle, quick tap, a set of six. Wasn't happy with that, and it was a forward pass. Now what's Mr Walters got to say about that one? The pressure's off again. Yes, and Harris unfortunately had to leave the field. Receiving some attention from the doctor, in the dugout at this moment in time. Got Damien Gibson, who's moved to full back. Graham Holroyd, who's moved up to standoff. And Leroy Rivers, who's come on as a substitute. That was a big hit as well. That's far a little run all day, given the chance. Holroyd will obviously take over kicking responsibilities now. This is pairing Sheridan at half back. Harris, we're told, has got a swelling on his leg. Attending to it at the moment. That's dangerous. Sterling did very well indeed. It was up out the traps like a ground. Great tackle there. Sterling, I say, so well he did in the tackle there. Now this is where it's going to be at its most intense. Good tackle there by Leroy Rivers, who's come on and say got a lot of criticism at Adelaide Rams. Scored a try. They, re they reckon the Adelaide Rams players picked him out as a weak link in the side. He's eager to make amends on his home territory tonight. That's Andrew Pierce, one of the substitutes who came on at half time for the Rams to Walters at the play of the ball. It's number 30, Mark Corvo. Looking to get up and play the ball quickly. Walters again. That's Stone, the scrum half. Wrapped up. See Morley there, making sure he didn't get the ball out. Along the line it comes. Now this is where it's dangerous. Oh, still. <laughs> There was no defence there at all, as you could see, and Solomon Kirry scores the Adelaide Rams' first try. No tattle went in at all. In Leeds' defence, they may well have been regrouping after the Harris substitute. That's caused disruption, but really there's no complaints at all there. Leeds never even tried to lay a hand on him, and Solomon Kirry, three side steps, and he was in for a try. The kick to come with a funny feeling that we may see the introduction of Terry Newton. Between the posts, 14 points to 8. <laughs> 14 points to 8. Now then, when the going gets tough, do the tough get going? I don't think it's a case of holding on for the Leeds Rhinos. You don't hold on against Australians. You basically keep going forward and try to score points. This is Sterling. What a good run from him. That is a tremendous run and he's fast as well. Look at this man go. That is an absolutely superb run and Sterling has run nearly the length of the field for one of the tries of the season. It must be one of the, one of the tries of the World Club Championship. That is absolutely superb. He took the ball behind his own line and ran the length of the field. I mean, that, as I say, that must be one of the tries of the season.
one of the best tries I've ever seen and Sterling seemed to increase in speed as he got towards the line he's got a standing ovation all the way around the ground and he so deserves it he's had to run balls out of his own dead ball zone all night but on that particular occasion there was a couple of lacklustre tattles went in on him but I say what a try that was the kick one a couple of weeks ago against Halifax live on Sky TV to win the game for the Rhinos it's a big kick just didn't have the direction it had the distance not the direction 18 points away but take nothing away that try I personally will savour for a long long time to come by Pearl Sterling Yestin Harris is running up and down the touchline that's both a cheer from the Speckies as well so he may well be back into the action it was a swelling on his knee he's obviously had some urgent treatment on it by the doctor and the backroom staff here they worked wonders on him in the last five minutes and they want to get him back in the game 63 minutes gone in this game 17 minutes to go and if nothing else is done this evening the crowd have more than got their money's worth Holroyd's kick off Stone collects it high tackle there by Mercer headed by Golden referee didn't like it be very interested to see next time Sterling picks the ball at what sort of reception he gets from the crowd after that run. That's providing he's still breathing, by the way, because it was a tremendous run the length of the field. That's Elias Powell, one of the Papua New Guinea players who plays the Adelaide Rams. Andrew Pierce. Walters. He seems to have the sting taken out of him a bit by Sterling's try. Looking to offload there. And the tackle was number 30, Mark Corvo. Walters again. 51, that was Williamson. With a tackle there going on, there was no, nobody even had the ball. <laughs> that was another one definitely for the outtakes on the close-up. Walters. That's Wrigley. This is dangerous. Golden put in a great tackle. I've queried his support play tonight, but tackling wise on the fifth tackle as well super big kick up field there by Stone they've got to take this Damien Gibson has he knocked on? yes he has says referee I was talking to one of the Leeds players the other week he was in fact yesterday Harrison he said the only problem you've got to collect in the bomb these days is whilst you're not allowed to be challenged in the air you only need a hand to go in front of your face and you lose it completely and I think that particular in Damien Gibson's defence I think that's what happened to him is that the hand went up a couple of players were around him and he actually lost it as it was coming down they've got a hold firm here they play a full set of six he came in very late indeed there with that tackle this is number 13 David Bolton second row forward Wrigley at dummy half this big charge through there now then, is that one for the video referee? Andrew Hick. The thing is about using the big screen, by the way, is the fact that he can also see, if he's not happy about touching down, he can also see the build-up to the try as well. The crowd were cheering there at the big screen. We can't see it from our position here. But obviously, the crowd have become video referees down here at Headingley. They made the decision they didn't think it was a try. Soon to wait at eternity. Yep. Scrum defence, says the big screen. And that was Andrew Hick who knocked on near the line. Gary Mercer coming away. Leeds breathe again. It would be an injustice to Leeds with that try by Sterling tonight if they were to lose this game. Harris still limbing up on the far side on the touchline, waiting for his introduction back into the game. Collins, Matthew to Gibson
Leeds have two crucial substitutions they can make. Adelaide Rams have played all their jokers, all their four interchanges are done. The only way you'll see anybody else on is a blood bin substitution now. Holroy kicks it deep, puts the pressure right on. And it's Wayne Simmons coming away with the ball. Tattle going in there. Wrigley to Stone. Mercer, he'll tattle all night. Marvin Gibson going in. Three men in the Leeds Rhinos. Ensemble are tackling there. And it looks so good, doesn't it? To see an English side. We'll leave the European side of it alone. An English side, or a Yorkshire side. Putting in the tackles. Like that from Leroy Rivers. I say, he got a lot of criticism down in Adelaide. But that was a tremendous one-on-one -on -one tackle against Wayne Simmons. Good tackle there. They're really stretched at this particular juncture. That's number 13, he's lost the ball. He lost the ball. Touch judge Jim Molyneux. And the lead Adelaide Rams plays with trying to claim it had been raked away from him in more than two plays, but Mr Molyneux decided on the far side to touch judge that should release the ball. So away come the Leeds Rhinos, that's Leroy Rivett. Holroyd, long ball out for Hassan. It's a bit too deep for that, Phil. Score one try already, and that was a good try. We want Marvin Golden to score a try for the Rhinos this evening, and then all the three quarters will have scored a try apiece. Yep, yeah, knees coming in there, I think. In fact, it's a changeover. Six tattles gone, changeover, says referee. I would have basically put knees in on the tattle there. When I'm biased, I'm English. I'm also from Lancashire, but I'm English tonight. That's Stone. Good ball indeed there for Wrigley. Three tries so far for the Adelaide Rams this season. Tattle well there by Collins. And has he been penalised as well? Yes, he has. Ta holding down. That's Stone. This is where the danger is. They've pinpointed the weak link defensively for Leeds Rhinos. He's down the right-hand side. Attacking-wise, it's not with Sterling, but defensive-wise, that's where they're trying to attack. That was very, very clever play there. Oh, from acting half-back. That was number 21, Gene Chilifito. Scores a try, and there's trouble as well. After the try has been awarded, there was trouble down under. Man, that was for a Terry Newton spear tackle. On that particular occasion, I don't know what was said. Refer referee Russell Smith. Jim Molyneux has marked the spot of the angle for the goal kicker to take it from. Time out, says the referee. And I'm having a word with somebody before this conversion takes place. But I'd be happy with six points difference than four. Yes, no problem at all. Kicks that one easily enough. 18 points to 14. Anybody with a faint heart should now leave the stadium and also leave the lounge if you're watching this video as well because you're going to have eight or nine minutes of absolute intense rugby league for the Adelaide Rams, they want to come back. As I was saying to you earlier in this broadcast, the Australian sides have said that in the last 20 minutes, the English sides have lost all the steam. Hopefully, it's not going to happen here at Headlandly tonight. Wayne Collins. Harris back on the field. He comes back on in place of Graham Holroyd. That's Leroy Rivett. Looking to make valuable yards and he does so. Farrell on the play of the ball. That's what annoys the European size there. You can see that quite clearly. The holding down after the tackle. Referee Smith let it go that time. That's Harris back on the field. So none of the best of kicks for Sterling on that occasion. Sterling's earned his money so far tonight, but I wouldn't mind another try from him. 
in fact anybody on the Leeds Rhino side this is the intensity they've got to win this one the Leeds Rhinos they've only two bites to the cherry remember only two games this game and the North Queensland Cowboys to try and get qualification for that last chance of getting into the quarterfinals of the World Club Championship Harris there the tackle this is Walters he's run all night influential little character he is and that's Harris on the tackle tackle on Ellie Peo the kick's going to come here any second funny feeling Slate clean, says the referee. Change over. Mercer jumps on the ball. That's Leroy Rivet again. Busy little character he is. He wants to get up and play. What well, he wants to get on with it. Gibson. Marvin Golden. He went up the blind side there, really. Marvin Golden, where really. Common sense should have told him to go back in play where all his support players were or drop on the ball there uh, saying errors. Now what's he gonna give? Yep, Leeds put on Wayne Collins is furious at that one. And a penalty given. I don't know, but Mr. Walters will be in very shortly. To query. Harris kicks for touch, in fact on that occasion Walters decided he didn't want to query the decision. Adelaide Rams have now got a problem, they've got to play limping down at the bottom end of the screen and no substitutes due to come on. Matthew. We've now got the battle cry from the bugle again. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Anthony Farrell, Wayne Collins. Gary Mercer. He wants to get up and play it. Wayne Collins. A treasure a drop goal here, I think, on a fifth tackle. But there was an opportunity. Harris looking for that way through. Andy Hay to Newton. He's got a point to prove tonight. Newton. Oh, he was looking to offload that one. He'd nobody in support on his left hand side and plenty on his right hand side. He's got to be holding down. Got a Simbin in there. Mamando is going for a walk to the Simbin for 10 minutes. And Yeston Harris has decided to put six points fresh air between the teams. Mamando shaking his head as he's leaving the field. Russell Smith may well get a lot of criticism for his display tonight, but me personally, he's acted by the letter of the law tonight on the play of the ball, on the interference at the play of the ball, on the high tackles, he's done everything by the book. Superb performance and backed up by his touch judges as well. Kick this one, yes, Tim, please. Big cheer from the crowd behind the goals. Don't need me to tell you, the yes, Tim Harris puts two points on the board and also a bit of fresh air between the teams six points five minutes to go in this game and it's not over yet and I would think even partisan fans who are on this ground tonight or the non-partisan fans people who come here a spectator point of view wants Leeds Rhinos to win Harris kicks it off Three minutes to go, says the referee, and here come the Adelaide Rams. Now this could be akin to what Sterling did, but he's tackled superbly there by Ryan Sheridan and backed up by Gibson. This is where they've got to concentrate. It should have been touched up there by the 
Backed up there by the touch job, it looked decidedly forward. Eli Peo pushed the ball back inside. Remember the Adelaide Rams men down to 12 men. With Mamando in the Simbin at the moment. He's not really going to get back time to get back into this game, actually, Mamando. That's Williamson. So a lot's been expected of him, but he's been well shepherded. And the referee's decided that was the last tackle. And we'll have a changeover. And two in about the last ten minutes there. The Oldham Bears having put a bit of pride back into English Rugby League tonight, winning 20 points to 16. Marvin Golden, hang on to the ball. In the olden days, used to say, stick it up your jumper. These days, they use the technical expression, play out your set of six. You've got to move forward. The Headingly Roar. They've been cheered on by the favourites. Gary Mercer getting up a bit gingerly there. He's given everything tonight and he didn't particularly like that challenge. He got knees in the small of the back. Collins, keep hold of the ball. Don't do anything daft. Leeds have given the ball. Oh, and the ball back, says touch judge Molyneux. Oh, now that did clear the one metre zone. There was a query in an earlier game in the World Club Championship of diving on the ball, which the Europeans like doing. The Australians haven't learned that particular trick yet. And Collins may well have won the game. And Farrell didn't like that high challenge then. That was by number 30, Mark Corvo, who was a very high tackle. Sterling's trying to cool everybody down. Don't be surprised if Mr Smith invites his touch judge in to have a look here. Tony Kemp's on with a water bottle. He's had a few wars in his life. Penalty. Yes, and Harris has already got his sand bucket ready. He's going to try and put two points on the board. With the Oldham result, Warrington having played well, getting beat by 48 points to 12, which is good by their standards this season. If Leeds can win tonight, what a great day it'll be for English Rugby League, and I wouldn't mind being mailed an Australian newspaper tomorrow. After all the stick they gave the European sides in Group 1, maybe the fight back has come. And surprisingly, the Tano announcement, very surprisingly, the Tano announcement has given the Man of the Match award to Paul Sterling. Adrian Morley for his tackling, but Paul Sterling for that moment of, moment of magic when he ran down the field, the full length of the field, and scored a try to set it all up. Yestin Harris with this crucial penalty. Kicks it high into the night sky, and it's two more points, 22 points to 14, and that should more or less have sealed it. We're into stoppage time. The fight for the top of Group B is going to really get going now because you've had Sheffield won a game, Paris won a game, Leeds have won a game now. And Oldham have won a game as well. In Group A, there's only Wigan Warriors who've yet won a game. And all the big games have to come. Penalty for the high tackle. And now Adelaide Rams put in a bit of spring in the step. May well be too late. Hopefully it is. Stone, the scrum half. He's worked hard all night. The Leeds Rhinos players will know they've been in a game. Oh, I think they'll all sleep as well when they go home tonight. Yep, we've got a knock on and we've got to put in the Leeds Rhinos. In fact, no, the Adelaide Rams. Adelaide Rams. Two minutes stoppage time played in the second period. We must be near full time now. 
Wouldn't mind another try though. Off we go. Here's Gibson. He thinks he's <laughs> he thought he was obstructed. He's getting the tackling anyway. Has Sam backing it up? He scored a great try. He was backing Gibson up there as well. Two try scorers for the Rhinos earlier in the game. Good tackle there. That's Jamie Field coming in. He's coming on as a second half substitute. That looks suspiciously forward from this angle. Got a bit of urgency in the game. I said the Adelaide Rams now, but are playing hurried rugby league. No such thing in Australian rugby league, they tell me. The Leeds Rhinos have done the English game and the European game proud here at Headingley this evening. It's not had it all their own way. But they've never actually trailed in this game. Yep, knock on. And that is sheer frustration by Solomon Kiri, the centre, slamming the ball into the ground. Right, we're on a scrum down. We're on a count down, the supporters. There you are, not even time for the scrum down, and the Leeds Rhinos have done it. One here, a famous victory, and remember that sterling try forever, because I will. 22 points to 14, well done indeed to the Leeds Rhinos. There he is, the man of the moment, Paul Sterling. Being hugged by Ronnie the Rhino. <laughs> what a good try. Man, I say, management consultant by day. He's being followed off by the cameras as well. Historic night, as I say, down here at Headingley. Ronnie the Rhino going absolutely berserk, almost losing his head in the process. Now, then, it'll be interesting to see what it makes of Group B of a table. Well, don't rule out the Leeds Rhinos for topping it because they've got the North Queensland Cowboys beaten by Oldham tonight down here at Headingley in a fortnight's time. On behalf of Mike on video, good night, God bless.